rolling. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, we're back with my little snorkel. And I've got the mark on it. And he's got a ton of momentum. I mean, he's part border collie. I mean, obviously that's that's why people choose those for training dogs. They've got a ton of momentum. They're, you know, dogs like that are going to be more honestly forgiving. You know, they've got so much energy to expand. There is a wider margin for error. But I've got the Martin on him, but he's got the idea of moving with me anyway. He follows me everywhere. And he's kind of a default to that down. He kind of learned that early on. Oh, he's just a tiny bit leash sensitive. I was just checking to make sure. You know, I want to be able to rudder him around. And, you know, obviously you can see the remote. He'll... You know, I never... I, I'm never jerking the leash and I'm never, you know, making any kind of crazy moves like that. You know, I do want him to understand heel, but I... You know, a lot of dogs, it's going to be by attrition. They're not going to just jerk them into heel and they're just going to do it. Heel. You know, so if I'm defining that as heel, you know, how much am I going to have to do with each dog? They're different amounts. Heel. isn't a correction. You know, if he thinks I'm doing anything, I'm guiding him right there. You know, that's what he's saying. Yay. Yay. Now that I'm rotating him around, there's no... Yay. Yay. You know, and if I want to... Dogs understand micro-movements. I mean, you know, you can't just stand there and beckon them to do it, though. You've got to be ready to move to help them understand where they need to be. Heel. No, I'm using. Yeah. Yeah. Precious, precious folks. All right, you guys, but you get the idea. But you know, again, you're always, you're, you're always moving away from the dog. And Vishnu, I'm making this for you because the guy, you know, you're always trying to get the dog, you know, more to you. He's not only coming to me; he's trying to make it more interesting. You know, he's going into heel on his own. I'm not even saying, oh, jeez, where's his boy? Oh, my gosh, he's so good. You know, and you've got to be ready to say, that was unbelievable. I have never. There's no dogs even in circuses in Russia that do that good. You know, you've got to be ready to, I mean, God forbid, honestly, because there's people, I, it seems to be pervasive, that petting it on the head if petting it on the head is good, what's better? <laughs> That's going to be my new thing, again. You know, what's better, thumping it on the head? You know, I just... You know, so you've got to be... Oh, I got him tuned in now. He's watching my every move, and these are sharp. These are sharp. So he's going to see every move, and I need to do the... I need to do the moves right. The moves are not going to be awkward and jerky. He'll... You know, he's got a pivot point. He's a little... Yeah. Heel. Yeah. I've got that yeah. heel. I've got that. You've you got to have that. The one foot. Heel. Yeah. heel. Yeah. Down. The one foot that can move forward. And he's still sucked back a little bit, but. Yeah, but he's got the special command. <laughs> <laughs> Push him around with the pager. You know, when you've got a dog like this that's very, very warm. Okay, okay, if you can go through the jump sparkles, then you'll, we'll make you a cake. <laughs> How does that sound? A cake? No, this is a conversational dog. Sparkles, you go back that way and go through the jump, okay? No, he is. Crystal will tell you. 
can just talk to him. He knows what you're talking about. That doesn't mean he's going to do what you say. You know, and that's what you'd have to remember. You can have a conversational dog that isn't going to do what you say. It knows what you're saying. Oh, Sparkles, I love you, Spark. Oh, you guys will be right back.